Hola, me amo Josh. That's as much Spanish as I know. Uh, and welcome to Glimpsed. Uh, I thought I'd finish that in English, because English is a better language. And we're about to crash. Sorry. Oh, God. Sorry. Learn Spanish with Josh. Yeah. The simplest of Spanish words. Hello. How would you say hello? Hola. Hola. On Spain's southern tip is the oldest inhabited place in Europe, Cadiz. This coastal city is the perfect place to explore a bit of the Spanish language. Spanish is second only to Mandarin in number of speakers worldwide and evolved from Latin. Famous speakers include Cervantes, Antonio Banderas and David Beckham. Yes, that's David Beckham. Language school Spanish in Cadiz invited us to find out more. Spanish is an evocative and passionate language spoken by many people around the world in very, very hot climates. Uh, one of those hot places is, uh, is Cadiz, and I'm here um, at the Company of Spanish in Cadiz, and I am with Alejandro. My first question really would be, where does Spanish come from? Well, Spanish comes from uh, Latin, Greek, and all the romantic languages that we have around Spain. Um, and obviously with a na Native American influence and the Arabic language. Uh, the, the Muslims were here, they invaded Spain and they were here for 500 years. So many of uh, the words that we use everyday life come from uh, the Arabic language. Can you give me some example of, of Arabic words? For example, all, all, most of the, all the words that we have that finish in, in that start with A-L uh, come from uh, Muslim and uh, well, from the Arabic. Okay. Maybe like, for example, Alvaran, which means invoice, invoice, would be a word okay. that we use. What about alcohol? Would that yeah, two, same thing. Oh, my name, Alejandro, which obviously Alejandro, the ha sound, comes from Arabic. Arabic. How many Spanish speakers are there? Um, and, and why is that? Why is Spanish such a global language? Okay, there's, right now there's 450 million uh, people that speak Spanish. Spanish is spread all around the globe because of the Spanish colonies, colonies right. that we had. Yeah, same thing as the English colonies. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. Don't, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't feel guilty. The English were just as bad. Uh, so that's why um, Spain, uh, Spanish is quite important outside, actually it's more important right now outside Spain than in Spain. For example, we have, um, they say in one generation time there'd be more Spanish speakers in the States than in Spain, just because of the past. The Mexican majority. influence, yeah. yeah. So tell me a little bit about Spanish in Cadiz then. We're part of the Cervantes Institute. The Cervantes Institute is the, uh, it's the main body that dictates how um, Spanish should be taught and uh, the use of Spanish in um, everyday life. We have people from all over the world that come here. We have uh, 25, 26 nationalities right now and they come here either for one week up to uh, 52 weeks. But I believe that at some point I'm going to be chatting to one of your teachers yep. and I'm going to try and learn a few exciting Spanish phrases. Learn Spanish with Josh. Yeah. Hello. How would you say hello? Hola. Hola. Oh, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? To me that just sounds like kettle. Encantada? Encantado. Es diferente. So a woman, when you speak about a lady, you say a different word. Encantada, femenino. Yeah. Encantado, masculino. Okay. I see a really pretty girl in the distance. I see Megan Fox walking in the distance. And I, I get up the courage to say to Megan Fox, Damn, damn girl, you fine. Like, so in Spanish, how would I say, you're very pretty? Ah, oh, eres muy guapa. Muy guapa. Muy guapa o muy bonita. And then what if it's a guy? So imagine Megan Fox, she heard me say, you're very pretty. She turned around, she saw me, she thought, my God, he's the most beautiful man I've ever seen. And Megan Fox wanted to say to me, you're pretty. What would she say to me? Tú eres muy guapo. Tú eres muy guapo. Guapo o tú eres muy bonito. Tú eres muy bonito. Well, I'm glad that we've learned that. It would never happen, most importantly for men here. How would I order a beer? Oh, you do not know what I mean by beer. Order a beer. Beer. Ah. I, I have a northern accent. Okay. So when I say beer. 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 Una cerveza, por favor. Una cerveza, por favor. 
Do you have a favourite Spanish word? Do you have a word that you love in your language? Like, I have lots of British words that I like, like flump or moist or exiguous. It's a lovely word, isn't it? Exiguous. So, do you have a word in Spanish that you, oh, that you sí. love, that you just love the word? Sí, por supuesto. Eh, me gusta mucho la palabra libélula. Libélula. And what, is, what does that mean? Dragonfly? Dragonfly. Right. Really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.